פרק עם הלאה אוכל יוד. מי שניח איסא מגולגל אז בתוך בייסק. סמדי הוא היה את הדור שרולד והוא הלך את זה. נגיד את הפירוש. סמדי הוא הלך את הדור שרולד בבית. רבינו מנויח מסביר שהוא מיקס את הדור אבל הוא לא נהיה כחומץ עוד. הוא יוצא והוא הלך החוצה ונזכר אחר שהוא יוצא. אתה זוכר שהוא הלך כשהוא הלך, אחרי שהוא הלך את החוצה. הוא יושב בני רבי, והוא נפרד של רבי, ובגלל הכרטיס הוא נפרד שהוא יחזור. הוא נפרד שהוא יחזור 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 הרי זה מבט לו בליבוי קודם שיש חמץ. He has to be nullified in his heart before it becomes חומץ. Because it's still in his רשוס, before it's חומץ, even on פסח, and he can מבט לו. So here we're talking even on פסח, אבל במחמיצו, once it has become חומץ, אין הביטל מויל כלום. It doesn't help, because חומץ ופסח is also about no, it's not his. אלא כבר עובר לא יורה ולא ימוץ, הוא עושה עבר ולא ימוץ, הוא עושה עבר ולא ימוץ, וחי על עבר מיד, והוא עושה את זה בצורה מיידית, כשיחזור לבייסר, הוא חוזר 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 לבייסר, You can say it was there Shabbos here at Pesach, and you can nullify it, but Yontiv, once it's also, how can you nullify it? And the Avach explains that he's talking, he's in front of his Rebbe, and he has this dough that hasn't risen yet, it hasn't become Chometz, and therefore before it becomes Chometz, you can nullify it. And that's what we do here at Pesach, when we bake matzahs, we say, that anything that might fall on the ground, or little drops that will ultimately become the Chometz, should be Hefka. And this is the Loshan of the Brisa, He was sitting in the Medrash. He wasn't even sitting in the Medrash by his Rebbe. Rashi explains for the proof that it didn't become Chometz, because if it became Chometz, even if he would be able to go back, what can he do? It's also beyond the Taltal, it becomes Muqtza. This is according to Rashi Shita, that if it became Chometz, it's Muqtza, and the Chachom did not allow him to burn it. Now, the Lech Hamishna has a question. And all those explain... that are uh, commentaries that the Magad Mishnah brought in Halacha Ches. The Kevol of Kli is only when he was Mavatl. But if he was Mavatl, he is permitted to destroy it on Yontiv, uh, or even on Shabbos, by crumbling it up and uh, throwing it to the wind. So he won't be even by Yorah by Yemotza. And, and they learned the Gemara that you cannot explain like Rashi that he could do it because according to them, You can move it on Yontif in order that not to be even by your or by your Motsa. Rashi is of the opinion, though, that once it's Chometz, you can't be Mavat, and you can't move it. So Lecha Mishnah answers, they'll explain the proof of the Gemara from the fact that he was in Be'i in, in, in Be, in Be Samedrish, that it's just telling us a proof that after the time of Yisurai, once it's also Even if it's his house, he can't move it because he can nullify it before it becomes Chometz. And even we'll say that he could move it and burn it is because he was Mavatl. It doesn't help Bittl after the time of Issa. Then it's for sure also the Taltal, it's Muqtza. Rabbeinu Menoyach explains he has to destroy it immediately when he gets home. Only before Yontif. אבל יונטב זה אוסר to destroy it because you cannot move it and it's not capable of being burnt but rather you place on it a kli because also Ameinu Manoyach is of the opinion like the Magad Mishnah we turn the page that the Magad Mishnah Aloha Ches that even though you were not a battle and you're actually over this person is over and by your own by your mot so you don't say in Yontev that you're allowed to burn it because it's not a food item which you need and even though everything is permitted it's only if you have a person need for it and there according to the he's, he, he's of the opinion even if he did not nullify it he cannot burn it Shuvah's Mokim Shol 
Rav Shmuel Shomuel Ashkenazi. He point, he's medayik. He 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 proves from the Rambam that so in Yontif it says shemechmitzo in abitul moil that if it became mechometz bitul doesn't help. So it means at the time of bitul came and he still has to just get rid of it, burn it when he goes home. Same din would be somebody who finds a Yontif chometz. We didn't nullify it before. Pesach, and you can't nullify it after the Zman Yisuroi. It's it's certainly that he has to do it on Yontif. Exact contradiction to the Hagemag and Mishnah. This is again the Machloik is here. Whether if your the Chacham overrode the, the, your ability to burn it, even when a person is is being over by your by your every moment. So the Machloik Shmuel says that even though it would look at first glance that the Magid Mishnah learned from the Ches that even if you didn't nullify it, you can't move the Chometz and burn it, only on Yontif. And here the Ram says he has to get rid of it right away because he's talking about Chalamoyed. And that's why he differentiates, differentiates between the two Ramams, where he says he can burn it is a Chalamoyed. When you can't move it is when it's Muktza. But you can't say the Ram is talking about Chalamoyed because then what's he letting us know? Obviously in Chalamoyed he has to burn it. And furthermore, in Aloha Gimel, he writes that there was Chometz, he, he, he nullifies it, and he puts on it a Kli and filled Motsi Yontav Arishan, and then burn it. And that's an Aloha Gimel. So he already told us that in Chol you're allowed to burn it. So he's saying Yontav Arishan, after Yontav Arishan comes Chol And even Yontav Shani, you can burn it from what Ram says, in Mitzoy Yom Toiv. And it has the opinion, even in Mitzoy Yom Tov Arishan, for Bnei Chutz Laaretz, where they still have Yontav Sheni at the end of Pesach. Still he burns the Chometz, even though it's it's talking there for sure, he, and he, therefore there's no need to burn it because of Bayero Bayemotza. He's permitted to burn it, and certainly so, when he didn't nullify it, it's obvious that he can burn it. So what's Ravim telling us? So the Mokhaim Shmuel tells us that the Das of the Amam is like Rashi, the Ran and the Rajbo. The other Psoyskim are of the opinion that when you nullify it, you don't have to burn it any longer. However, if you didn't nullify it, you have to burn it even on the end of itself. And that Shuvi also brings down that his, go- his brother, Rabbi Pesach, is of the opinion that somebody who was negligent, he was a Peshea, he didn't, and he brought himself to a point where he's going to be even by your by your mozza. If he won't burn it on Yontif, he every moment he doesn't burn it, he's over. That's what the Ram says in Allah Ches that if he finds it after the sixth hour and he didn't burn it before Yontif, he has to burn it whenever he finds it. The whole Ashim Tsueno means any time. He says, even Yom Tov. The Ram, Ram was very careful with his words, and he said, Bechol Eishim, so Eno means even, even on Yom Tov. Because there's no difference from a dough that he can nullify it, and he forgot that he's chayv to burn it, even in Yom Tov. And he concludes, since the Ram and Berak Alv says, if somebody forgot, and something was had an accident. It, it was an onus, something that was beyond his control. The over on Bayura by Yemotza, that's only on the past. But from the moment that he finds that he's not over, because from that moment on, he is considered somebody who has no choice. He can't burn it any longer. In other words, he, he, he wasn't. He didn't. Have, he's now no longer supposed to find it. He found it, but he can't burn it because our home said it's muksa. Therefore, he, on Yontav he places on it a vessel to cover it, but he shouldn't burn it on Yontav. We'll turn the page, ki, ki ain't, because he's not, any, any longer he's not transgressing, even though he has it. Because once he intends to burn it, then if our home doesn't permit him to, he is, it's like he's confined and he's not able to do it. And putting the vessel on it is enough since he found it on Yom Tif, and he's not even by your or by your motzah. 
and the Racham did not permit him to move it, to burn it. But if he was not only negligent, but he was rebellious, we tell him, go burn it, so that he shouldn't be oivan by your by your because it's no longer an accident, it's something that he did willfully. So there, the Racham don't want him to be oivan by your by your they say, go ahead and burn it, as is the Halochim in Atayra. The Baal Mokim Shmuel says his brother is wrong, that he's even with the Hachom say you can't burn it because of Muktsu, you're even by your by your Motsu. Even more so that the Ram is of the opinion that if he forgot about it and he found it only after Pesach, since he was over on this Chomets, on by your by your Motsu, Shechomets. That's of all our pesach was also by no oilom because of a fine from the medieval say from as a rabbinical edict. Therefore, why, as they say, because he was oivan by yiroi by yimotzer. What does it mean? He didn't find it. He didn't know about it. And passed through pesach, but it's called he's oivan by yiroi by yimotzer. Achman olislam. Therefore, he can't benefit from it, even if he left it b'shogeg or accidentally against his will. Therefore, we see that even somebody who forgot is even by Yerod and it, and we can't say it stops the moment he puts on a vessel and he disagrees with his brother. We will learn Halochi Yudalaf and Yitzhashem tomorrow.